In this tutorial, I'll explain how to draw the isometric view of a half lap joint. So this is the half lap joint. This is bottom part. This is the top part. So assume this is the x axis. This is the y axis. This is the z axis. So isometric view means you are representing all the three axes in the same diagram. So for our convenience, you can take scale as 1 is to 2 in your record sheet. So that means each dimension you have to reduce to half of its size. So 120 will become 60, 30 will become 15 etc. Here start the drawing with a horizontal line. So draw horizontal line. Mark some point here. Using protractor draw a 30 degree line and draw another 30 degree line on both the sides. Assume this has x axis and this is y axis. Draw a vertical, call this as z axis. Now this particular line is along x axis. Now align your mini drafter to x axis and draw a 120mm long line like this. Now this line is parallel to z. Again align your mini drafter to z axis, draw a line parallel to z of 30 length. Now this line is again parallel to x. Now change the orientation of mini drafter to x axis, draw a 120 degree line. Now here this will automatically become parallel to z. So here some slot is there. So that's why this is at the center. Total slot length is 30. So if you locate the midpoint, this side you have to mark 15, on the other side you have to mark 15. And this particular line is parallel to z. Parallel to z, draw two lines, join them. That will be automatically parallel to x axis. Now take this line, this is parallel to y axis, length is 30, this is parallel to z axis and uh, length is 30. Then automatically this line will become parallel to y axis. Okay. Now draw a line, this line parallel to x axis, length is 120. I am drawing a light line because rectangular slot I have to complete, that's why. So this line automatically parallel to y axis. Then if you draw the lines, these lines are parallel to y axis. If you draw the lines like this, so automatically you will get 30 distance here. This depth is 15, take 15, that is parallel to x, sorry z, this is parallel to z. Now this line will automatically become parallel to y axis. Now from here draw a line parallel to x axis until it touches this line to complete this rectangular slot portion. Now the required lines you darken and remaining you can erase. So this particular portion is required, dot that portion. Remaining lines is erase. Now how to draw the extension lines? Extension line should not touch the object, that's why give it 1 mm gap. Minimum length of this is 10 mm. 1 mm gap and draw a 10 mm line. Then draw a line parallel to this x axis like this leave some gap here I'm, I want to follow unidirectional system I will follow the unidirectional system like this here draw another line this is 30 okay. this height is again 30 this slot distance is 30 this is 15 now bottom part is over now coming to the top portion just to draw the light extension lines from here like this because the top portion has to fit into the bottom portion along this way so that's why now this particular line this particular line is parallel to y so somewhere here draw a line parallel to y axis like this this gap automatically will become 30 and total this 30 means this side 45 45 90 total is 120 okay now here Along z axis, take 15 height like this to get this slot. To get this slot, take 15 height, draw a line parallel to y. So, this line is parallel to z axis now. Take 30, z axis along 30, along z axis, take 30, here also 30. If you join them, that will be automatically parallel to y axis like this. Now, this particular line is parallel to x axis, parallel to x length 30. This is parallel to Z. 
Now here take this, this is parallel to x length 30. If you join these two points, that will be automatically parallel to y axis. Now to get to represent this slot completely, from here draw a line parallel to x axis until it touches this point, this line, darken the required portion. Apply the dimensions, this is 30 and uh, this height is 15 and uh, this distance is 120 and this is 30. So in this way you can draw the off lap joint, isometric view of off lap joint.